ever feel like you're being watched? Like there's faces everywhere, staring at you. They're in the trees, the clouds, the very fruit you eat. It might make you wonder, am I crazy? I can see them too. You're just as sane as I am. Turns out, if you do this, there's a word for it. And it's backed up by science. Hey, Lexi here. And today, I'm going to design characters based on objects that look like they're alive to me. Because we all do it sometimes. This is the kind of thing I wish I learned about in science class. Humans are programmed to look for faces. We're always looking for friend, foe, food. Our minds look for patterns that could be a person, a creature that might attack us, or something our cave person ancestors would probably chase with a pointy stick. It's also how we recognize faces of people we know. Our brains check for patterns of their faces. So, when we see two dots in a line together, our brains go, oh my gosh, it's a face! Turns out, it's a survival trick we have that sometimes guesses wrong. Is that tall, looming, shadowy figure in your bedroom at night actually here to hurt you in your sleep? Nah. Turns out it's just a pile of laundry on your chair and you were too tired to put away before bed. It happens all the time. But just in case it was thinking about hurting you, this neat trick makes a question at first. Just in case. It's called phase pareidolia. The phenomenon of seeing faces in everyday objects. This is the reason why your bowling ball looks really surprised right before you chuck it at the pins at the end of the lane. This is why sometimes street lights at the end of the street look like they're smiling at you. This is the thing that caused some of my favorite memes. Told my suitcase we're not going on vacation this year. Just flipped our microwave on its side and he absolutely loves it! Nobody. Me staring at random objects. So, let's play a game. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? Okay, yeah, it's a Christmas song, but I think it works. Round one. A photo of my purse. At first glance, yeah, just a brown purse, nothing special. But what I see is some sort of alien pirate looking back at me. I think it's the hoops at the, uh, ears that make me think of pirates. Maybe you fit in well in Treasure Planet. Funny thing about this picture. My phone caught this one. I was putting my phone away when my camera turned itself on. Me, being the weirdo that I am, asked my phone, what do you want to take a picture of? And yes, I did this in front of my friend. I looked down, saw the expression on my purse's face, and I went, oh, good catch. I took the picture. I'm weird. I'm a weirdo, but I got a cool picture out of it. Round two. A photo of a couple of cars. When I was a kid, I always said cars have faces. Headlights and a grill? Face. And they all have personalities. I'd decide if a car was mean or nice based on the kind of face I thought they had. I'm older now, but I absolutely still have a part of my brain that goes, that car looks angry sometimes. So one day, I'm waiting for my friend to come pick me up. And I took this picture. Do you see what I see? I see the blue car is more than happy to have their picture taken. But the car next to them seems upset. Are they jealous they barely made in the frame? Do they detest the idea of having their neighbor's picture taken? What a showboat, ugh. No idea. But they did not look happy about it, and the blue car has no idea. Round three. This one might be a stretch. This is what happens when you start to look for the faces in objects. And I mean, really wanted to find something. Do you see what I see? I see? This is a standing mixer and a strainer in my friend's kitchen. One day, I stared at it a second too long, and I saw it. He's a jazz singer. The standing mixer is singing his heart out into the strainer that is actually a hanging microphone. Is it a little out there? Yes. But I see it every time I'm in my friend's kitchen now. And honestly, this is my favorite drawing from this video. He just looks so happy singing his song. I told my friend about it when I first saw it. 
I had to really explain it to her before she said, yeah, I see it. But she might have been humoring me in my crazy art brain. You see it now, Sandra? Since we all see faces, these objects that suddenly sprout faces and personalities, why not make a game out of it? Go looking for them. It's a built-in trick we can do. Why not play with it? See what crazy creatures your mind can make up, or what personality it thinks that car next to yours has. If anyone says you're being weird, you can tell them, it's science. I'm being human. Blow them away with, the, with face pareidolia. Sounds much more legit than, I'm just weird sometimes. Did you find any cool ones lately? Tell me about them in the comments. I want to hear about the tree with the spooky face that used to scare you as a kid, but now that you moved, you kind of miss it. Or that one cloud that looked like Bugs Bunny, but you didn't take a picture of it. Give me a like on this video so I know you want to see more content like this. I'm trying out some new things, so it helps me know if I'm working in the right direction. And subscribe to my channel if you want to join me on my crazy creation journey and see what other strange creatures I hold in my head. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.